Hello everyone. In this session, we'll discuss instruction cycle. Instruction cycle is basically related to the execution of the instruction. Now, programs residing into the computer's memory are having a specific sequence of instructions. Now, each instruction will pass through some cycle and pass through some phases. First of all, it would be fetched from the memory. Then it is decoded. Then the effective address is read if the instruction has an indirect addressing. And lastly, it will execute the instruction. Now this cycle will goes on for each and every instruction in a program. That means step one through step four would be executed for all the instructions written in a program. And lastly, the question arises when this cycle will stop. This cycle will stop when it encounters halt instruction for that particular program. So let us see all the steps individually that is fetch and decode. So fetch and decode. So we are knowing that there is one register named as PC program counter which stores the address of the next instruction to be executed. Now the micro operations for fetch and decode operations are as follows like first of all at time t0 the content of program counter that means the address of the next instruction will be transferred to the address register then at time t1 the content of memory pointed by the address register will be transferred to the ir that means the address of the next instruction is there in address register and the instruction located at this address registered will be transferred to the instruction register along with that pc would be incremented by one because now the current instruction which is under execution has been transferred to ir and now we need to load the address of the next instruction to be executed so the pc is incremented by one then at time t2 this instructions decoding operation will start that means now ir contains the instruction which is to be decoded so we had seen the control unit of a basic computer where the decoding operation will takes place based on the opcode bits so decoding ir 12 to 14 that means the opcode bits of ir would be decoded and corresponding to that d0 to d7 out of this d0 to d7 line would be enabled then the remaining 0 to 11 bits of IR would be stored in a, a address register because if it would be a memory reference instruction then it would be address if it is register reference or IO reference then corresponding operation would be th there in AR register that is address register and there was one more bit that is 15th bit of IR register that is meant for direct or indirect addressing in case of memory reference. It is 0 in case of register reference and it is 1 in case of input output instruction would be transferred to this I bit. So this is what is fetch and decode operation. Now the after fetching of, of the instruction then decoding the instruction the decoding phase will decide the type of the instruction. Now if during time t3 we have to decide whether the type of instruction is memory, IO or register. So it would be decided based on the value of D7. Now if the D7 value is 1 then it is either register or IO instruction. Else for any other values from D0 to D6 if it is 1 then it is always going to be a memory reference instruction. Now let's see the flowchart for the same how this instruction cycle works. Whatever we had discussed we represented it in the form of flowchart starting with the fetch operation. So before fetching we need to make the sequence counter to be 0 SC to be 0. So sequence counter is 0 then we are loading the address stored in PC to address register that means the next instructions address is transferred to AR at time T0 then at the time T1 what happens at time T1 the memory having memory pointed by the address stored in AR the instruction is fetched from there and transferred to IR instruction register because AR contains the address of the instruction which is in current execution so from memory it is fetched and transferred to instruction register along with that pc is incremented by 
1. Then decoding operation will start. That means from the IR 12 to 14 decoding will take place and IR 0 to 11 will be stored in address register along with that IR 15th bit will be transferred to I flip flop. Now after decoding that means at time T2 now we need to decide which type of instruction it is. So it is decided based on D7. Now if T7 is 1 then it is either register or IO. Now how to decide whether it is register or IO? Now again it is decided on the IR 15th bit that is I bit. Now if I is 1 then it is input output instruction so execute IO instruction and make sequence counter to be 0. If I bit is 0 then it is register reference instruction so at time T3 execute the register reference instruction and make sequence counter to be 0. But now the question arises: if D7 is not if D7 is not 1 that means it is 0 then it is always going to be a memory reference instruction. Now again there are two parts in memory reference instruction either it is direct or indirect how it is decided it is decided based on I. If I bit is 1 then it is indirect addressing that means we need to fetch the effective address. Now how to fetch the effective address? Address of address. So M of AR is transferred to AR that means now address register contains actual address of the operand after this statement. So at time T3 the effective address is calculated and then it executes the memory reference instruction and makes sequence counter to be 0. Now over here as you can see I have not decided I have not defined the timing whether at T4, T5 because memory reference instruction are not fixed for the timing some completes at T4 some completes at T5 so depending on that they gets completed and the sequence counter is made to be 0. But now the question arises if I bit is 0 then it is direct addressing. So in direct addressing that means AR contains AR contains the direct address of the operand. So what is to be done? Nothing is to be carried out at time T3. So no operation. So one kind of delay you can say. So no operation will take place at time T3 and after that timing cycle the memory reference instruction will be executed and sequence counter is made to be 0. So this completes your fetching, decoding, reading effective address and execution. So now what? Again the cycle starts and it goes to for fetching of the next instruction. So this cycle will goes on till the halt instruction is encountered.